What up, everybody? It's your boy, this month's nigga head in the house, coming out with another discussion video. Before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. Hit the notification button on the front of my YouTube channel so you know when all my videos drop. I appreciate all the support. Please spread the word. And man, I'm trying to get to 3,000 forever. Just 3,000. I'm about 350 subs away. Hopefully, I can get there, and hopefully, bigger and better things are to come. But with that being said, let's get right into the discussion video. Just doing a very quick video on my overall thoughts and comparisons between the different Adidas Boost models that I have in my collection. I know a lot of uh, YouTubers, sneaker YouTubers have done this already, but I figured I'd share my results in terms of what I thought of the comfort and which ones were the best and most comfortable. So we're gonna start with the least comfortable. Now keep in mind, all of these are comfortable. They're all incredibly comfortable, but we're just basing it on the different boost models. So the first model that's the least comfortable, obviously, would be the NMD Boosts right here. Now this is just the mesh version. I forgot what this version is. Um, this was the, the cheapest of all the boost models. It was 120. Comfort, they're the hardest. The boost here is definitely the most hardest. I'll try to take an image of the boost just to compare so you, it's it's the hardest of all the boost models the one thing with the nmds man these laces i know a lot of people complain about them these laces are too long literally when you tie them up you think they're still gonna hit the floor but this uh this nmd just the basic nmd right here would be in my collection the least comfortable favorite so on to the second uh most comfortable the second least favorite it would again be another nmd but this one here is the NMD Boost R1 Prime Knit. I love this shoe. I wear this a lot. Now this one is a little bit more comfortable than the standard NMD. And the Prime Knit just for some reason just feels better on feet. Either one though you can still wear without socks. Um, this is a very dope shoe right here. This is the all black as you can see with the white bottom. None of the NMDs have the Continental bottom as you know. Those are just the Ultra Boosts. This is how the Boost looks on this shoe. The next most comfortable shoe of the Boost models that I have are the Adidas Ultra Boosts. These ones are definitely the most responsive and this one is the chalk colorway. Super happy to get. If you guys didn't check it out, I'll leave my story vid up here on the card so you can see it. Um, but super happy to have these. I also have the Ultra Boost in the 3M. The responsiveness on this is crazy. Also, there's a lot more in lockdown compared to the NMDs because it's a running shoe. So you have the cage here, cage here, the, the heel counter here. So there's more lockdown to it. And the responsiveness is crazy. So again, looking at the boost, doesn't seem like as much, but it's more concentrated. You get more responsiveness when you with each step. This would normally be the most comfortable of all the boost models. But I have one more to show you that to me is the most incredibly comfortable and we're about to do that right now last but certainly not least we have the y3 retro boost the yoji yamamoto y3 retro boost uh, collab with adidas as everybody knows i love yoji yamamoto um, in terms of his kicks one of my all-time favorite des sneaker designers when it comes to kicks these here have the softest boost now as you can see compared to the other boost models it's a lot more concentrated it's i mean it's a lot there's a lot more boost bubbles or whatever you want to call it in there it's super thick super it's the softest of all the models that i have but yeah the ultra boost the boost on this by far is the most comfortable super soft it feels like air and the shoe itself the upper is already super light and i love the design of it as well but the fact that this boost is light and super cushiony of all the four boosts that I have, this by far is the most comfortable of the bunch. So um, let me know down below, guys, which what you think about boosts. I know some people are saying it's hype. It's not that comfortable. There's other brands like Skechers and Puma that have their own version of boost. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what boost uh, kicks you have in your collection. Whether it be runner, whether it be lifestyle, whether it be basketball, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, and with that being said, thanks for tuning in. It's your boy. 
That's my sneakerhead, and a brother is out. Peace.